we all know the huge difference that YOLT does both in performance and behavior compared to the default good old physics. I have recompiled all the relevant information about good old using YOLT as the default physics engine and I will present all that information in this exact video. So let's get started. So the most relevant and current information that we have about this is a tweet from, from Juan Linieski, as you can see, one of the creator and technical advisors of Godot. That is quite like an old post from July 16th of 2023, over one year ago. He didn't actually post anything more related to YOLT, um, as far as I have researched. So this is the last, uh, the latest news in terms of YOLT and Godot. Basically here he is recommending using uh, YOLT physics and then in this other part of the tweet that was uh, in the exact same day, um, he says that not super far away, Godot could be uh, using YOLT as the default physics engine. And that also, well, the main missing feature is soft bodies, okay? But well, if soft bodies are implemented in YOLT, we could possibly be seeing YOLT as the default physics engine. Now, what things are currently missing in YOLT? Um, that basically would be the reasons why currently YOLT isn't the default physics engine of Godot. So you can go to the uh, public repository of Godot YOLT, and here you will find what's not currently supported in um in yolt right now so here for example it is mentioned the fact that has to do with uh, soft bodies um so yes it seems it seems that uh, juan uh talked about this like one year ago and still wasn't implemented at least at all because it doesn't support interactions with areas 3ds so uh that's of course something that has to be added in order for YOLT to become the default physics engine as well as all these other ones. But well, I think that the, the most important one is soft body because also uh, Juan mentioned it. And uh, well, what we can see here is that the work is usually done quite frequently. You can take a look at the commits and for example, we see that the latest commits were in July 25. Uh, 2024 which was something like uh, one week ago uh, 10 days ago so um, it did work is always being done in order to improve YOLT and fortunately enough to become the default physics engine uh, in Godot but well it's I would say that uh, until these uh, five things are correctly implemented and fully working instead of Godot uh, YOLT is not going to be the default physics engine. Also, I think that it is a super big step that Godot would have to do because, well, of course, changing the default physics engine means a lot, okay? It means that every time that somebody gets for the first time in Godot is going to be seeing a different physics engine. Um, and, of course, the default behaviors of it are going to be quite different, okay? Different for the better, of course. Um, but, well... Something else I wanted to discuss is that, well, without 4.3, the, the official release, as you can see, we're we are in release candidate 2. So basically, without 4.3, is literally around the corner. Um, so I would say that it's probably released at the end of this week or at the beginning of the following one. Because, well, two release candidates, I think we would be having one more release candidate at most. And after the third release candidate, we should be expecting the official one. But, well, probably they are not going to be... Uh, releasing YOLT with uh, as the default physics engine with Godot 4.3 since it would be a change that probably they would announce it here okay we are going to be implementing YOLT as a default physics engine they would announce it like maybe one month ago and this didn't happen if we check here in, in more news as you can uh, check over here so if there are, there is actually a, a, a plan of integrating YOLT as a default physics engine like quite soon, it will probably be announced here in the vlog or in the social media or literally wherever. It's not something that will happen from one day to other. It will actually take some time for that for that uh, announcement, I, I would say. So the best thing that we currently uh, 
can do is basically to always uh, stay tuned here in the blog, in the social media of Groot and Juan. Um, well, just wait. Lastly, I just want to leave you here with the full um, performance test between Yolt and uh, Groot. So that we can remind just once again the amazing power that Yolt has. So stay tuned for more news about Yolt being released as the default physics engine. I will always be up uploading the latest updates and I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.